Alright, hey, and there we go. Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, I am live. We're live from downtown. I'm actually sitting at, uh, I'm actually sitting, okay, there we go, and now we're live on Periscope as well. Uh, so, I am live in downtown Cincinnati this uh, Monday afternoon, this dreary, cold, rainy Monday afternoon. Yes, I do have a jacket, by the way, before anybody asks that question. Uh, yes, I do have a jacket. It is with me. It is in my bag and will be brought out when I leave here in about 25, 30 minutes. So, uh, again, we are live for the first time. Actually, the this is probably the, this, let's call this the first official Monday, Mountain Dew Monday, live Facebook edition, um, and we're dual casting today, so I am live in Cincinnati, downtown, uh, chilling out basically uh, for a little bit. I've been running all over the place this afternoon uh, in the downtown area. I have some, uh, I have some Mountain Dew, of course, as is the custom. I, I see I have a viewer on both Facebook and on Periscope. Welcome in. I probably didn't catch you on per on uh, Facebook or on uh, Periscope. Sorry, that happens. It happens sometimes. I do miss these things. Um, the downside on uh, on the Periscope, uh, I have as long as I want on Periscope. On Facebook, I only get 30 minutes. Um, and that is the one reason we are dual casting. Um, or one of the reasons we're dual casting for today. Um, and the other reason is, quite frankly, I just felt like broadcasting on both, uh, on both uh, gimmicks. So, pardon me, I am going to... I've already had lunch. I had a, uh, I had two cheese conies and a uh, order of cheese fries at the local Skyline Chili, one of the local Skyline Chili locations on Seventh Street. And so I am going to chew a little bit of Trident try try gum. It's Swedish fish trident layers, which is actually really good. Um, in any case, uh, and again, if I'm not seeing if I'm not seeing something on chat I apologize um, it was um, it was brought up to me by Rich Rice or Reese I, I still don't know how to pronounce the poor guy's last name but uh, it was brought up to me that while I was downtown I ought to get a what a uh, river level update, and so I'm going to make that happen right now. Let's see. The Ohio River at Cincinnati is currently at 47.03 feet. The good news is it looks like the forecast river crest has been revised downward to 48 feet. And 
it looks like that would happen sometime tomorrow. And that is good news. The bad news is, unfortunately, uh, impacts, minor flooding, begins east of downtown Cincinnati at 42 feet. While the flood stage elsewhere is at 50 feet, or 52 feet, so. So at least for now, we have dodged the bullet as far as significant flooding in Cincinnati. But again, there's going to be some minor uh, areas of, uh, of flooding east of downtown, out towards Coney Island. Uh, Riverbend Music Center, places like that. So. Rich, I'm going to tag you in this post, or in this afterwards. So, you can see your answer, or the answer to your uh, question. So, who's out there watching me? On this, uh, on this cold Monday, and yes, it is cold here in Cincinnati. Simply put, uh, it is. Uh, let's see. Uh, it was. It's been in the 40s for much of the day. Let's see, it's 38. A little while ago, as I look at my phone. And also try to look and make sure I'm not missing anything on the chat. Okay, apparently I don't have that. 38. Still. In the 30s. In downtown. That's just insane. Um, temperatures are supposed to get up to the 50s tonight. I don't know that that's going to happen at this point simple but but enough about the weather you're not here to talk about the weather you're here about you're here to BS about anything else so anything you got anything you want to talk about I am all ears I am here I'm here for about 23 minutes on the Facebook side of things you may go a little bit longer on the periscope side but for sure I'm here for at least the next 23 minutes 24 minutes. Actually, 22 minutes almost now. Uh, so, whatever you got, um, I am all ears. Um, it really is, I really am just chilling to, right now. Um, I had to do an errand in Cincinnati this morning uh, because today's Mountain Dew Monday was actually going to be from the house. <laughs> uh, true story. Mountain Dew Monday today was actually going to be from home, and at the last minute, I realized I had an errand that I need to complete sometime in the next couple days, so I thought, why not do it today, and more importantly, why not try and do a Mountain Dew Monday on the road while I do it? So, that's the deal on that. Um... So Mountain Dew Monday is on the road today. Next week it will be from the house because I don't have anything going on. I mean, complete bupkis next week. Um, so, we are here though. Um, and, and let me give you a little background as to where I am. Because I'm sure you... You see all kinds of movement behind me, you know, back there on the upper level, maybe down low, especially on the Facebook side, but you for sure see it going behind my head here. Uh, I am in the Weston Hotel in downtown Cincinnati, looking, normally, at least, I would be looking right out on Fountain Square. I cannot see Fountain Square right now. And the very simple reason for that is that I've got a big Christmas tree right in my field of vision. And I have no problem with that. None. Zero problem with that whatsoever. 
And in any case, just across the street on Fountain Square, there's an ice rink. So I couldn't see the fountain even if, you know, the Christmas tree were not in the way. But the Christmas tree is in the way, so it is what it is. Um, and again, I'm not pitching a fit over it. It's three days after Christmas. Hey, Daria. It's three days after Christmas. I have no problem whatsoever with a Christmas tree being in front of my face. Um, yeah, on break from work, I take it. Uh, that's why I move. I move. That's why I let you know. Yeah. And that's why I let you know specifically that, hey, it's getting moved a little bit. And I still started a few minutes before 12.30. But, uh, you know, I wanted to make sure I got everything working. So I'm downtown. I'm killing time. Um, by the way, uh, can you tell? <laughs> I think you can tell what shirt I picked today. Uh, and for those on the Facebook side, whoop, whoop. For those on the Facebook side, I'm wearing my Roman Reigns shirt today, uh, representing the current WWE World Heavyweight Champion. By the way, SmackDown, March 15th, here, in Cincinnati. And I think you can guess that, yes, I'm going. I'm going to make that happen. It might be a last minute thing, but I'm going to make that happen. So. Wait, house show? Um. But it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Hang on. Are you sure it's not a SmackDown taping? SmackDown is in Washington. Okay. SmackDown in Washington. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Uh, so they're doing one of those split gimmicks again. Yeah, yeah, I see it now. Okay. Um, that makes a lot of sense. Um, and by the way, another thing that's happening, coming up, within the next two weeks, I got one word for you. Yes! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I got you. Um, but, um, but yeah, uh, if you didn't see it, I got one word for you. Yes, I am. Uh, at least, as of right now, that is the plan. And I say that because he is supposed to be doing an autograph signing at the, um, at the Cavalcade of Customs. As you know, I've been there the last couple of years. So, that is a thing that is going to happen. The first weekend in, the first, no, the second full weekend in um, January. Which reminds me, I need to get my tickets. I need to get my tickets on that ASAP. Uh, let's see. Superstar appearances. So I'm now going to... I'm, I'm trying to look and make sure they haven't changed it. Okay, there we go. Schedules appearances. Uh, sorry. Um, bear with me for just a second. As of 
this moment, he is still scheduled. Yes. Friday, January 8th at 6 p.m. As of right now, that's when he's scheduled. The day before your birthday, yes. Yes. Um, and if everything goes as it did last year, hey James, um, if everything goes as it did last year, I should be one of the first in line to meet him. So, and James, you just joined in on Facebook. Uh, I'm talking about Daniel Bryan doing an appearance at the Cavalcade on uh, the 8th. So. Um, but yeah, that is a thing that is supposed to happen. <laughs> yeah. Yes! 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 <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. Um, but anyway. So, other than work, who's excited about 2016? And be completely honest. If you're excited about it, say so. If you're not excited about it, let me know why not. Because I'm interested in hearing. Um, for me personally... 2015 was a decent year. It wasn't a great year. It wasn't a, wasn't a bad year. It was just decent. Which is a hell of a lot better than 2014. I'm not going to take anything away from, from 2015. 2014 was miserable. 2015 was pretty decent. Actually... I take that back. Not all of 2014 was miserable. Because there was a certain road trip that happened in May. But everything from July onward in 2014 just sucked. Sorry. Yeah, there was one highlight. One. Um, whereas in 2015, uh, as you've seen, I've been posting my top five memories of 2015. Next one tomorrow, by the way. And, uh, spoiler alert, has to do with a certain, uh, surgical scar. I don't know if you can see it. But, um, yeah. Has to do with a certain recovery, with recovery from a certain surgery. Yeah, including the wristband you keep seeing, yeah. Um, yep. I mean, I, I basically never take this thing off anymore. Um, if I do, it's in the shower, you know? I'm taking it off in the shower, but that's it. I, I, I don't take it off anywhere else. Um, and I'm glad they make these out of uh, silicone, by the way. I'm definitely glad they make them out of silicone. Because, uh, because if it were made out of latex, we'd have a problem. There is no problem here. Hello to Mr. Jack. Wouldn't it be a kick if he was if he was watching my Mountain Dew Monday right now? I'm just saying. Wouldn't it be a kick if he were watching this? By the way, I've spoken to a couple of local personalities in my area. There's always a chance one of them's gonna pop in here. I'm just saying. There's 
always a chance. Yeah, yeah. Um, go back to my Twitter timeline, you will see who I mean. And by the way, if you're on Facebook and you don't follow me on Twitter, please do. Uh, you know, you, sh you should be on Twitter. I really think Twitter... Um, I really think Twitter allows allows us to see everything our friends post, which can be both a blessing and a curse. Because on the one hand, you get all the game things, all the thing, all the posts, all the tweets about games, and map my run. And hey, look, I'm mil I'm guilty of map my run. I'm guilty on that. Guilty as charged. But you never miss a status update. Whereas with Facebook, you miss everything. And there, are, I can't tell you how many, um, I can't tell you how many status updates I've missed on Facebook because of the stupid algorithms. You see this look in my face, right? That's very cool, though. That is very cool. Um, yeah, nice look. By the way, since last week, you notice anything that's a little different? Got the haircut. Oh, my connection is weak on Facebook, which means it may be weak on this side as well. Yep, hair, hair. Uh, I really hope my connection holds. Hang on, we're gonna do something here. We're gonna do something. This may not work, but we're gonna try. I'm gonna hold this here for just a little bit, but uh, yeah. Actually, I did not buzz it. Let's be let's be perfectly clear. I did not do the buzzing. Uh, I can thank Great Clips on Mall Road in Florence for the buzz for the buzz cut. The badly needed buzz cut at that. And we're gonna move this back. I think, I think we're okay. I think. Um, but yeah, I had a weak connection on the, uh, on the Facebook side, so, had to, want a good laugh? Okay, but keep in mind, I'm in public. And hell, I could use a good laugh because it's been a long day already. I left my house before... <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, oh gosh. Uh, for for people on Facebook, my friend Daria just told me that apparently her ex tried to have his current girlfriend add her as a friend on Facebook. Can we say block? Yes, we can. We can say block. I would be throwing blocks left and right if I were you. I'm just saying. And we got a weak connection on Facebook again. Okay. You know what we're going to do? Okay. You know what we're going to do? I'm going to end it on the Facebook side because we've got a weak connection, really weak. I don't know why. Um, so, if you follow me on... If you're not following me on Twitter, I'm over on Twitter via Parents. Over on Periscope, Periscope 
via Twitter at Jeremy Moses twenty six. Follow me over there. Uh, you have to get going a bit. I know. Um, so, uh, but unfortunately, we've just got a weak connection. Excuse me on the Facebook side, and I don't know how. I don't know how to remedy that. Um, well, it's not going to go much longer anyway. I mean, I got, I got five and a half minutes, or four and a half, four and a half minutes. Um, and we're going to end Mountain Dew Monday pretty soon anyway, so that I can get to the bus to get home. Although you know, you know what. You know what we may do? I may get back on. You know what? We're going to do that. I'm going to get back on here. So there will be a Facebook replay of that um, when I get back on. Uh, but I'm going to get back on from the house. Coming up here in about, oh, let's say about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, so at 2 o'clock. Uh, so we're going to end this right here. I will catch you guys at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. And until then, I'm Jeremy Moses. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I'll see you right back here at 2 p.m. Uh, or catch the Facebook replay.